Hi folks, this is Old Gorbag here at Gorbag TV and Gorbag.com. And I'm going to show you a little bit about blowing and overblowing and underblowing. Now watch carefully. I'm going to cover all the holes except two. Like that. Take the recorder away from your face. Let go of the holes. Without looking, put your fingers back on the holes. Take the recorder away from your face. Take the fingers away from the holes. Without looking, put the fingers back exactly on the holes and blow. Like that. Do the same with your alto. You're going to put your fingers on the holes without looking. I looked. I shouldn't look. Okay. Without looking and blow. Five seconds. Then take, the, take your fingers off the holes. Hold it up near the mouthpiece, but don't hold it all the way up. Don't cover this hole here with your fingers. Don't touch it. Get in the habit of not touching that thing. We'll talk later about it and why you don't touch it. You're getting a smooth, even breath out. And it's going to be not quite even when you first start out and when you're even into it quite a bit. It won't be exactly, precisely even. Take your fingers off, take it away from your hand, and come back to it without looking. Put your fingers, find the holes without looking. Now, if you come back to it, and it sounds like this. You didn't get the holes. You, you, you missed a couple, okay? So you got it lower or higher, whatever it might be. Like that. Now, while you're waiting for your recorder, I want you to send for the... At least one, I suggest you get all three of my... I have two CDs currently made. They're ready to ship. I have a third CD that I'll be finishing off tomorrow, which is my alto. The other two are soprano. And I want you to listen to these because I, I play Shakuhachi style. So I want you to see what you're in for. Hear what you're in for. And I want you to realize that this is a meditation and it's also a breathing practice. Very much like a yogic breathing practice, except that it doesn't carry with it many of the dangers of yogic breathing. Therefore, you, you can study this on your own. Many people play recorder without ever studying the breath that goes in it, really. Uh, I regard it as semi-safe to um, practice the recorder as a breathing technique. Same as I do the harmonica, the trumpet, and so forth. They're, you're going to have to learn breathing techniques for anything that you play with your, with your mouth. Uh, including, a, let's see, a, a, a bagpipe is going to have a lot of breath things and so issues, they call them these days. So, uh, what you're trying to do is get a smooth, even tone. You're not trying to get fancy. You're not trying to play. I really don't want to hear a beginning student going like... Because... That's not going to teach you anything. What you really need to do is to do what, a, what um, for instance, Matthias demonstrated this morning, which is he bows the bass every, an hour every day.
runs away. Come back again. And this is all fingers covering like that. Say all fingers. Take away two, and you'll cheat yourself into a little bit easier blow. And you're going to have to adjust your breath just as you would a bow. The farther away your hand is from the strings, the more pressure you're going to have to put on a bow when you're playing a, a string instrument. When you get up a bowed instrument, you play, get close, you take off the pressure. So the same thing is going to be true here. As, as you uh, start out, you're going to have to hold back a little bit. And then when you get out a little bit more, you're going to have to push a little bit more with the deflated lung or lungs if you have two. So uh, that is how you're going to be working just for the next little while. And when you get a recorder in your hands and you've done that much, just gotten that far with it, we can then take it further and go with what can I do in the way of making music with this now that I've got this instrument and I know how to put my breath through there how can I make music with this instrument? And then we'll go to the question, how can I make beautiful music with this? And then we'll go to the next question, which is forget about music. How can I turn this into a meditation device? And so forth and so on, deeper and deeper into the levels. Until finally, we have ourselves in a situation where we can actually make a piece which is transportative to the audience or to, to the player or both. So that's where we're going with this, is to make a transportation device out of a recorder. You're my recorder as a transportation device to transport the soul. All right. So that's enough for today on the recorders. Uh, I would um, like to leave you with this a little bit of music. Um, I'll actually put some on, if you will, put some on there for, the, for them, uh, which is the recorded music that we've been making over the last couple of days.